So today I'm going to talk you through some of my favourite narrative games. These are games which are more about choice than anything. They're also known as um, choice and consequences games, so take a look. In The Walking Dead you play as Lee, an ex-convict of the zombie apocalypse, where you form a bond with young Clementine. And in this game it's more about the relationship about those two and the relationships you form with the group. And in season two you play as Clementine, where you try to survive in a brutal world, even though you're just a young child. In Heavy Rain is a murder mystery type game where you play several different characters, and the whole point of the game is to discover the identity of the origami killer using several different characters. Each one of them has a flaw and you have to try to rescue a kidnapped child. In Beyond Two Souls, you play as Jody, someone who has been tethered to a spirit ever since she was a young girl. And the decisions you make as Jody and Aiden are up to you. You can play Aiden as a kind spirit or an evil spirit. But this game does have some of the best acting in a game I've ever seen, with Alan Page and Willem Dafoe giving some great performances. Until Dawn is a horror game which uses what's called the butterfly effect, where every action has a reaction, and your whole goal is to try to get as many survivors as possible. The best case is to get everyone to survive. Uh, this game does have a lot of the horror tropes, but there's kind of a tongue-in-cheek tone about them. And, I mean, it does have the cliché characters, uh, mask killers and some monsters, but it is never plays the same twice. Life is Strange is about a high school student named Max Caulfield, who one day discovers she has the ability to rewind time. And this is what makes it unique to other games in this genre, in that you can actually change the decisions you make if you're not happy with it. But at the heart of this game is really the relationship between Max and her estranged friend, Chloe, as they discover what happened to their friend who has gone missing. Okay, so tell us about your favourite narrative games in the comments below, and I'll see you again soon.